Hi everybody, welcome back. This painting is going to be a bit different. It's going to be more of an experiment. Um, I've got my five chamber split cup here and I've got some really beautiful colours mixed up. I want to know, when I'm pouring this out, I'm going to do a ring pour, I'm going to spin the turn the canvas on my cake turntable. What happens when I turn it quite quickly? So my, I've done this before, but I've just very slowly edged the canvas round, um, very slowly. I'm not going to go really fast, but what happens if I just speed it up a little bit? Um, so I'm wondering if, um, as the paint's coming out, whether I'll get um, quite a tight spiral. Um, just really interested to know what will happen. So let's let's find out. This is such a pretty colour palette. Absolutely love it. All Amsterdam paints. So I've got permanent blue violet. I've got ultramarine violet, permanent red violet, bronze. Venetian rose and light rose. They're all mixed with PVA glue and water, pouring medium. I'll put the recipe in the description, um, but you can see reasonably fluid. It just pours nicely. So it just pours off that stick really well. You've got a mound, leaves a trace for a few seconds. Um, the bronze is the only one I had to add extra water to. Iridescence are always so much thicker. Um, yeah, so really excited to see what I can do with these colours. So I'm going to layer up the uh, split cup. I'm just going to be taking out that purple. Um, it's um, I, I just think of, to choose five of these six colours, these are the nicest five. Um, I'm still quite new to these, these split cups, so I'm still getting a bit confused as to how to layer this and in what order. Um, it just makes sense, I think, to separate the light colours, separate the dark colours. Um, I think we'll go with that, see what happens. So I'm just going to pour the paint in the chambers. In... I'm using a 30 centimetre canvas, so I don't think I'm going to need to fill, the, fill it up. I think it will be too much paint. So I'm all ready. I've got my cake turntable here and then 30 centimetre canvas. I've got push pins in the back. Um, the 30 centimetre fits on this cake's turntable perfectly because it's a 30 centimetre round. Um, so, yeah, re really perfect size for this um, canvas. So I'm going to do a ring pour. Let's just have a think about the speed. So normally I would go at this sort of speed so you can hardly see it moving. So what I'm just wondering, I'm not going mad, but I'm just with the speed. I'm just thinking about this sort of speed. I'm not sure. I think I'll, I'll work it out as I go. So I'm going to do a ring pour. So I'm just getting the colours to the to the edge of the cup. Tiny bit more of that Venetian rose because it doesn't seem to be coming to the edge as quickly, which might mean there's less paint. Yeah, that's better. Right, centre. Um, so little ring pause. Now I'm just going to stop. Oops, I've spilled it. I'm going to stop because I actually want to put down some flow extender. Um, actually, I'll put down the, this other purple as my flow extender. Now I've just ruined the centre there, but that's okay because I'm going to pour back on top of that. So the reason I'm putting this down is because these beautiful colours are just rolling over themselves and I'm losing them. So I want to try and keep that.
Right, something changed. I'm going to have to watch this back because I did I did I start doing my ring port in the opposite direction? Because the outside looks different to now that middle puddle. You can see where the difference is. I think as a rule of thumb, never stop mid pour. <laughs> but obviously, I did. So, but it's still the experiment's still working because yes, I can see quite if you look at the the purple, quite a tight spiral throughout this. So there's just a few air bubbles. Let's torch those, get rid of those. I should have maybe put some flow extender down to start with or maybe um, poured into a puddle. So the centre, I'm just getting the centre of the puddle in, in the centre there. So let's just give this a nice gentle spin. Actually, I'm just going to put my mats down on the floor because obviously this paint might, might go everywhere now. This is such a cool pour, such a cool painting. So by, by spinning it faster, you get a much, much tighter spiral. So if I'd have done this at the way I would normally, I probably would have just got one or two rings, but you can quite clearly see, look at the purple, the dark purple goes round and round and round several times. Um, the weight of the paint wasn't quite in the center because you can see, see this line here, this purple and white, different looking line. That's the, well, that's where I stopped pouring and then restarted so you can see it round here and round here but it's not here and it's not here and then it comes in again around here so I've got a slightly off center design so these lines it's almost sort of stretched over this way a little bit more I quite like it though I quite like that line as almost like a, a feature round here so uh, you'll never get it totally symmetrical totally spot on um so actually i quite like this as a composition um i could consider actually skewing it further up though that way i don't think i will i think i'll leave it as it is um because i quite i could do really quite like it like this um so i'll be back when it's dry so it's now dried it's dried so so well i'll show you in a second but it's so smooth and glossy and shiny um, and it hasn't um, distorted. There's, there's one point of distortion actually, which is there, but there's a ridge there. So I think there was something in the paint, but the rest, it hasn't distorted while it's dried. It's just so pretty. So that's the edge of the second cup. Um, and I like that. I actually think it really gives some good detail. Um, the rings, I mean, how many rings are there? Hundreds of rings. And just look at that detail and that depth in the center so so pretty um, but the best bit has to be the shine so look at that bronze how that shines in the center there and this is so it's shiny at the moment just because of the pva glue but when i varnish this as well that shine that gold that sorry that bronze is just going to sparkle like anything so so pretty 
um, just and just so you can see from the light just such a smooth glossy painting so yeah really really happy really tight spiral um yeah really pleased with it um so any comments you've got please leave them in the box below please hit the thumbs up uh, thumbs up button please please do subscribe to my channel great take care bye